Hi guys, my name is Sudhir Koe. I'm a graphologist and symbologist. We are welcoming you in this episode of Know Your Signature. So if this signature is S, L, K, O. So this is my name. Let's assume this is my signature. So now the first initial of the signature, this is the first initial of the signature is me. What am I? The way I write my first initial is the way I will think about myself. And this is the way I will represent myself to the world. Now signature is a public image. So the way I want to show or the way I want a, a entire world to look at me is the way I write the first initial. Now the second initial is my middle name or my father's name or my um, there are plenty of ways to write the middle name uh, lot of people write Kumar, Kumari or uh, uh, you know Singh and all. So the middle name is the way I will pursue the world for fatherly behavior. The middle thing of a signature will indicate how I will behave with other people as a father and this will also indicate the way my father has been with me or a lot of time you may have people uh, who are not actually your father but they wear like father for you for example your math teacher your PT teacher your sports teacher all those people we are like father to you so the way they behave whatever you like and dislike about them now will be represented by this middle initial now the third portion which is my signature uh, signature surname so the four, third portion of this surname let's assume this is the k so the first initial of that surname will represent mother wife and children this is the thing which takes your family forward so the first initial of the surname will indicate your mother your wife and your children and the remainder of this signature which is ove this portion will indicate the way i occupy my time remember guys this is not a profession this is the way i occupy my time how much clarity i have in my thought process can be seen by the way i occupy my time so this is the three parts of signature now we are going to go in depth that what if the letters are connected so let's assume R, i do a signature like this okay so all the letters in this signatures are connected the moment your signature is connected it means that you are very good at connecting your thoughts it means that it becomes easy for you to express yourself in public it means you are a good seller what do you mean by good seller the good seller is the one who can convey his ideas efficiently so the moment your signature is connected you are in position to convey your idea efficiently now what happens when s l and k are connected it means that whatever things are happening with s those things are getting connected to the l and k it means that whatever journey the S will have, whatever journey that an individual has, that entire journey will affect his entire family, his father, his mother, his behavior as a father, his behavior as an emotional person. All those things will get will get affected by the way you write your signature. The moment your all three letters are connected, it means that your entire family will get affected by whatever you are doing in your life. If let's assume this person is not connecting the entire thing, but S and L are connected and this is separate. So moment you write this way, it means that you feel like you and your father are one. You and your father are one and your family is a bit separated. So you will always feel like connected with your father. It means that you will have a better relationship with your father and whatever happens in your life 
will be affecting your father as well so this if somebody does a signature like this in this signature the l and k are connected the moment l and k are connected what it means it means that the father and mother are connected and this person feels different from them so the moment you connect letters it means that your entire family will be connected whatever will happen in your father's life your life or your mother's life your wife's life will affect the entire family if you have separation then you as an individual will be a different person and you will treat other people as a different person or people as well and the moment you connect two or two initials s and l or l and k then similar thought pattern you will have and you will tend to get connected with your wife or you will tend to get connected with your uh, father so guys this was the regarding signatures and connected signatures so in our next video we are going to discuss something regarding overlapping what if s and l are overlapping on each other does the does it have any kind of significance so this video we are going to release next week and in, in that video you are going to learn more about signatures and we are having a whole series of signatures wherein we are uh, discussing a lot of various aspects of signature so if at all you are interested in any particular type of signature you can post the comments you can like our channel to know more about uh, your own signature as well and you can subscribe to our channel and you can click on the bell icon to get the notification of our new videos as well so if at all you are interested in knowing any particular signature you can just post that image in comment or you can send us a mail on sudhir at the rest sudhirkoy.com so that we will be able to teach you more or we can pass the information to you how can you analyze the signature thank you very much guys for watching this video see you in the next video thank you